Good morning, students. Let's continue with chapter number six, bar graph, module four. In this module, we are going to learn how to draw a bar graph. We'll be continuing with practice set 19, where we have already learned first two sums. Now, we'll be continuing with sum number four. Please note, in this exercise, sum number 3, 5, 6, 7 are omitted. Question number 4. Let's read the question. The number of customers who came to a juice center during one week is given below in the table. Make two different bar graphs to show this data. First, we have been given type of juice that is orange, pineapple, apple, mango, pomegranate. And number of customers, those who take orange juice are 50, pineapple juice, 60, customers taking apple juice, 25, likewise mango, 65 and pomegranate 10. Now dear children, as you can see, there are two different scales given in the question. We need to draw separate bar graphs for both. First scale that is given is on y-axis, one centimeter is equals to 10 customers. And second scale is on y-axis, one centimeter is equal to five customers. We'll be treating this as a separate question and this sum with a different scale will be homework. Now let's start drawing the graph. A horizontal line, which is called as, yes, x-axis, a vertical line, it's called as y-axis. Let's label them with capital X, capital Y. Next, as we can see on the x-axis, we are supposed to take type of juice and number of customers are there. This number of customers will be taken on y-axis. So these are the labels for x and y axis. Let's start with the scale. Let's write the scale on the top. Scale on y axis, one centimeter is equal to 10 customers. On x axis, let's write the name of the juices taken by the customers. Now initial one centimeter we will leave and then one centimeter will be taken up by orange. Then again, we will leave one centimeter and next will be taken up by pineapple. Now this next one centimeter will be leaving and on the next one centimeter will be writing apple. Then again, likewise, we'll be leaving one centimeter. Another one centimeter will be taken up by mango. We'll be leaving one more centimeter now. And then next is pomegranate. Let's number it. On the y-axis, these are the points, zero. Now scale is one centimeter is equals to 10. So after zero on the one centimeter, on the first part marking, we'll be marking it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. As the scale is uh, 1 centimeter is equal to 10, so we'll be taking up multiples of 10. So this is the marking on the y-axis. Let's start drawing the rectangle. For orange, we have 50 customers, so 5 centimeters, first vertical line, second vertical line,
and both the vertical lines will be joined by horizontal line. Now you can see an arrow. This arrow is pointing towards 50 means orange juice is taken up by 50 customers. Let's start for pineapple. Read the question. Now how many customers have taken pineapple juice? It's 30. So we'll be drawing first vertical line of 3 centimeters which will correspond to 30. Second vertical line and both these vertical lines will be joined by a horizontal line. Now this dotted arrow is pointing towards 30 means pineapple juice is taken up by 30 customers. Let's go for apple. Apple juice is taken up by 25 customers. So 25 will be getting between 20 and 30 on this line. You can see a light line between two dark lines that is of 20 and 30. You can see this line. This is this belongs to 25. So we can draw a first vertical line till 25, second vertical line till 25 and a horizontal line. This arrow is pointing towards the midpoint between 20 and 30 means it is corresponding to 25. So apple juice is taken up by 25 customers. Let's go for mango. 65. 65 will be between 60 and 70. So this is first vertical line. Second vertical line of the same height and a horizontal line joining the both lines. This arrow is pointing towards a point on the y-axis between 60 and 70, exactly between 60 and 70 will be 65. Next, let's go for pomegranate. Pomegranate juice is taken up by 10 customers. So first vertical line, now you can see an dotted arrow pointing towards 10. One more vertical line of the same height that is one centimeter which means 10 customers. Now both these vertical lines will be joined by a horizontal line and here we complete the rectangle. So you can see pomegranate juice is taken up by 10 customers with the help of an arrow pointing towards the y-axis on 10. So this completes our graph. Let's go towards now an extra question. So now we'll be taking up, taking up an extra question on drawing bar graph. Question is the number of bed sheets manufactured by a factory during five consecutive weeks is given below. So we are given number of bed sheets manufactured in five consecutive weeks. Now let's uh, read the table. First week, company is manufacturing 600 bed sheets. Second week, 850. Third week, 700. Fourth week, 300. Fifth week, 900. We are supposed to represent this data with the help of bar graph. Now scale is not given. So as you can see, the numbers are quite big enough. If we take 1 cm is equal to 5 or 10, we will be requiring number of lines more than 50 
which we don't have on the graph so that won't be feasible so we we have to think of such a scale so that we can fit all these numbers on the y axis so as you can see the numbers are in hundreds so we can take scale as 1 cm is equals to 100 fed sheets let's start drawing the graph so first horizontal line which is x axis next vertical line y axis let's label them with capital x capital y number of fed sheets will be taken up on the x axis sorry on the y axis and we have weeks will which will be taken on x axis scale on y axis 1 cm is equals to 100 bed sheets now first week then we'll leave 1 cm then second week again we'll leave 1 cm then third likewise fourth fifth so we have labeled on the x axis with the week numbers now let's mark the points on the y axis and 0 100 200 300 4 4 point will correspond to 400 5 cm point will be corresponding to 500 600 700 8 9 and 1000 Let's draw the graph now. Let's start drawing the rectangles. Let's read the data first. First week, 600 bed sheets. So we'll be drawing a vertical line of six centimeters. You can see a narrow pointing towards 600. Means the first vertical line is correct. Second vertical line. of the same height 6 cm and let's draw this with the help of horizontal line next second week we have 850 now dear children as you can see 850 is not there on the y axis so 850 where it will come yes it will come between 800 and 900 so we'll be having a first vertical line which is going to have a height of 8.5 that is it is going in between 800 and 900 let's see with an arrow of an arrow yes this is exactly between 800 and 900 second one more vertical line let's join them with the help of a horizontal line third week 700 it is so 700 means 7 cm vertical line let's see with the help of an arrow yes it's pointing towards 700 means it is correct one more vertical line of 7 cm let's join them with the help of a horizontal line so third week is done fourth week 300 bed sheets were manufactured so we'll be having we'll be drawing a 3 cm vertical line first let's see with the help of an arrow is it correct yes it's correct it's pointing towards 300 next one more vertical line of the same height let's join them with the help of a horizontal line done next let's uh, read how many bed sheets were manufactured in the fifth week 900 so first vertical line of 9 cm let's check with the help of an arrow yes it's pointing towards 900 means this first vertical line is correct one more vertical line of the same height and let's join them with the help of a horizontal line which completes this rectangle 
So now, as you can see, the graph is complete. Dear children, these dotted arrows, what you were able to see, this was just for your understanding. We don't need to draw these arrows. I hope you understood how to draw a bar graph. And also in this sum, we have learned how to select scale. Dear children, please note, you need to solve practice set 19, question number 4, and extra question number 1, explained in this video. Please again note, some numbers 3, 5, 6, 7 in practice set 19 are omitted. Thank you. I hope you understood all the sums which are explained in this video.